Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Der Burger from the game Fortnite. All I ask is that if you make this, please hit that like button, as it really does help me and the channel out very, very much. And if you do enjoy the build enough to hit that like, then please consider sharing it with a friend. Sharing is caring. But without any further ado, let's get started. This is my favorite part of the build. So before we begin, I can tell you that we will require every single one of these materials that I have in both my hotbar and my inventory right now. And we may also need other materials as we do progress through the build as it is quite a big one. Please do make sure that you have every single one of these. And I can also tell you that Durberger will take up a space that is 50 blocks by a 33 block area. So please do also make sure that you have enough room to make this. So once you have figured out if you've got enough room, once you've got all of your materials, pause the video if necessary, do make sure that that is all done, then we can begin. So if you have made this grid in your world, you want to come to the bottom front right corner of the grid. Count inwards by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then left by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then that way we're both starting in the same place. Begin by placing a white concrete on the ground. Left of that, three blue. One, two, three. Then a white, three more blue, one, two, three, white concrete, three more blue, one, two, three, white concrete, move inwards by three with the blue, one, two, three, place a white concrete, then go left three with the blue, one, two, three, and then place a white, three more blue, one, two, three, white concrete, three more blue, one, two, three, white concrete, then we're going to come in again, three with the blue, one, two, three, white concrete, go left, one with the blue, one with the grey, go up by two with the grey, one, two, left by two, one, two, and then hit the ground. Take the block that hit the ground and go left by one with the blue, then one with the white. Take a sideways view and go left with your blue concrete and place three blue. One, two, three. Then a white. Begin coming inwards again and place yourself a blue concrete, followed by a light grey. Go up by two. One, two. Left by two, one, two, connect down. Take the block that hits the ground, go left by one with the blue, one with the white. Come out of the back of the white concrete using three blue, one, two, three, and then place yourself a white concrete. Then I want you to come across the build to the left by three with the blue, one, two, Three. One with the white, three with the blue, one, two, three, one with the white, and then three more with the blue, one, two, three, one with the white. Now that is quite a lot of blocks, ladies and gentlemen, and the shape that we're looking for should look, from the front view, it should look exactly like this. Now, once you have created this shape, I think that we've got to make it a bit more interesting. So, on top of every single one of the white blocks that we have created, we want to do exactly this. On top of them, place an orange concrete. So, go all the way around and place a singular orange concrete on top of all of the white concrete blocks. It doesn't matter whether they're on the front, the back, the corners, wherever they are, simply place an orange on top of the white concretes. I then want you to place two rows of white on top of the orange concretes. 
So, whatever method you want to use to place your white concrete on top of your orange, whether you want to go around the build like this or simply stack them up too high as you go, that's completely up to you. I'm kind of going all the way to the end here and then I'm working my way back as you can see. But the entire point of this of course is, as I say, to add a add two rows of white concrete directly on top of the orange like this. Like that. What we then want to do is we want to use our orange concrete and we want to connect all of those white concretes together. So all of the top row of white concrete I want you to place rows of orange in between them. So only the top blocks, you don't want to do the row underneath, you want to very much how you just did with the rest of it pretty much, you want to just add all of your orange. Now that all of the orange has been added, the next step is for us to fill in these two rows on top of the blue concrete in between the orange using glass. So now go all the way around your build and add glass all the way between the rows of blue and orange. And once again, you can kind of just choose whatever method you like to fill this in. I'm basically adding a single row at the bottom, making sure to fill in the single spaces next to the doors, and then I'll just work my way backwards doing the upper row as I see fit. I'm just going to do it this way, and it's just a bit more interesting than like filling in the panels one by one. Okay, there we are. That is perfect. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add to the entrance of Der Burger. And it's kind of difficult to explain the position, to be completely honest with you guys. So I'd, I'll, I'll tell you what. What we want to do is we want to, on top, beginning from the start, so starting from all the way where we started, like... From this position here, I want you to grab your blue concrete and I want you to place a row of blue concrete on top of everything that we've made coming around the build. However, once you get to the point that I will point out, it is going to be here. Once you get to this point in the build with your blue concrete, I want you to extend the blue concrete to the left with the goal of creating a 90 degree angle and being able to extend it over the build and then connect it onto the end of the entrance, like this. I want you to do the same thing on the back also. So instead of going on top of this, I want you to extend across so it's overhanging the build. But I don't want you to go so far that you overshoot the back of the build because I want you to place all of your blue concrete on top like this. So I might have explained that poorly, but the entire point is to get this shape right here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I didn't overshoot that. So the next thing we want to do once you have acquired that shape is you want to take the two corners of the overhang and we want to connect them down to the ground with this series of blocks. You place two white concrete, one, two, orange, white. And the same on this corner too, two white concrete, orange, white. Just like that. And where we have the two spacers above the overhang, I'm actually going to add quartz slab inside of this space, like this. 
if you can see. And what you can also do, by the way, is you can now place blue concrete on top of the original part of the building. So now that we have done the overhang, you can now just place it like on the original parts of the building. And the point of adding this quartz into uh, these little overhangs is, once you have kind of like added a rectangular square of quartz, like this, I want you to place sea lanterns in the empty space, and then that will light up the actual entrances to Derberger. So we'll end up with something that should look exactly like that so far. Now, once you have done that, we do have some more things to do. If we begin all the way over where we started, you know, a lot goes on where we first started. I want you to take this top, this basically the first blue block that we placed, and I want you to place an orange block on top of it. And then I want you to place an orange behind it, and then above it by two. I want you to place two orange going up. One, two, like this. And I don't only want you to just do it there. You might notice that that corresponds with this row of white and orange that we have next to the windows. We want to do this all over the place. So I'm going to mark out where we're going to be doing this. We will be doing it here. We will also be doing it here. We will be doing it on this corner here. That's actually a little bit tricky. But we'll also be doing it here, here, and here. And then if we come to the side of the build, we'll be doing it here and here. And on the back of the build, we'll basically be doing it in the same places. Like we'll be doing it here, 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 and here. So if you can see where I've just marked out like that, that's perfect. So basically, everywhere that I've just placed those oranges, I want you to extend those oranges inwards by a row. And this, by, by the way, I, I should point out, this corner one here that I've, that's like shaped like an arrow, that is a special case. But we want to extend all of those oranges inwards like this. So if they're on the back, they're extending inwards towards the center. If they're on the side, they extend like inwards towards the center. You guys get the idea. And then on top of all of those overhanging blocks, you place two orange concrete coming up. So like one, two one two this one's a bit weird one two one two that one gets two of them in the corner one two one two one two one two one two one two and finally one two so eventually we will have went all the way around and we will end up with this shape right here which is fantastic because that's exactly what we're looking for I'm now going to grab the stone brick slabs and beginning from in front of the top half of the dark blue concrete that we started with, it always comes back to this, I want you to place stone brick slabs going all the way around the top of the blue concrete at the top of the build. So it, it's going to go all the way around, I don't know how I dropped down one a little bit, I must have changed out to Um We're going to go all the way around and we're going to place our stone brick slabs like this, all the way around the blue concrete, just until we reach the back. <laughs> I dropped down a row again. I'm still getting used to Bedrock Edition, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I very recently made the switch, and it is rough. So we want to have something which should look exactly like this so far. So you can see this is piecing together quite nicely. You know it is going together. Okay. The next thing that we are going to do, but we're not going to do the roof quite just yet. I want to, you to come to the back of the build. So, pretty much this side, okay? And we are going to begin from the bottom of the back side of the build. We want to take this white concrete here, and we want to extend it one row inwards. We then want to go left of it by three, by four really, using white concrete. One, two, three, four. In front of that, place a blue. And then I want you to, uh, going left of the white concrete, I want you to place four more white. One, two, three, four. And then place a blue concrete. 
I want you to, going left of that white again, place four more white concrete. Like one, two, three, four. And then we're going to place a blue concrete. We're going to go left by four with the blue. One, two, three, four. Like this. And now we're going to fill this wall in. We're going to add some features. Okay. So to the singular blue concretes, we're going to place three white concrete on top. One, two, three. One, one two, three. And then we're also going to place a white concrete on the left side of this row and the right side of this row of blue concrete. So like one, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. And then we want to connect all of those white concretes together with a row of orange concrete at the top going from left to right. And that will just connect all the way back to the restaurant. We then want to, using stonebrick slabs, we want to take this middle area. We want to place a row of stonebrick slabs in front of the bottom of the white concrete. And then we want to add a row of light grey concrete coming up the left side and the right side, and that is actually like an order window. The very left side panel here, you want to split it up the middle using grey concrete, and then place glass in the remainder. The two remaining areas are simple. I want you to place a strip of orange concrete on top of the white, and then follow through by placing white on top of the orange, like that. And then on top of all of that, I want you to stack a row of blue concrete, just directly on top. And then I want you to place two rows of white concrete, so this will be one, and then two. And then finally, we're going to stack a row of orange on top, like this. So all in all, the end result should look very similar to this. Now once you have got that sorted out, we are going to come towards the right side of the restaurant and we're going to take this bottom blue concrete here and we're going to go left of it by six using blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then place a light grey concrete. Go up by two, one, two. Left by two, one, two hit the ground. Go left of the block that hit the ground by three, using blue. One, two, three. Move inwards by one, and then left by three. One, two, three. And then I want you to move inwards and connect all the way back to where we first started, just like this. Then the next step of this is I want you to, on top of all of the blue concrete, I want you to place two rows of white concrete. So this is on top of all of the blue, I want you to stack two rows of white. So this will come up level with the little door that we've just made in just a moment. Now, once you've stacked your two rows of white, this is where things change a little bit. I want you to take this long wall that has the door in it and place another row of white on top of it. And then a row of blue concrete on top of the white. And then two rows of white on top of the blue. One. And then two. And then finally, a row of orange on top of that. Perfect. Then for this little corner area here, it's a little bit different. You want to stack a row of orange on top of the corner area, followed by a row of blue. So all in all, we will have ended up with this shape right here. And beyond that, I want you to grab your stonebrick slabs. And you can see this row of stonebrick slabs that we placed earlier, right? Well, I want you to extend this across this row of stonebrick slabs, and I want you to connect it to the very far right of the build, like that. And you can just fill in the area above it using stonebrick slabs as well. So all in all, so far, this is the shape that we have made.
And what I want you to do from here is I just want you to grab the orange concrete and I want you to extend the, you can see how we've already got like a row of orange here, like in the corner. Well, I want you to take the row of orange concrete and I want you to extend it inwards and around the top of the build in such a manner that you, uh, you connect all of the orange concretes together that are used in making up the frame of the roof. So it's actually kind of like a tricky shape to put together, but in doing this, we're also kind of solidifying the shape of the roof a little bit. But once I have done it, it should be fairly simple how you would do this for yourself. So like this would come around here and then here. Um, yeah, it'll be, it should become fairly obvious, hopefully, um, how one would do this for themselves once, uh, once I have done it here. So, like, we'd come around here inside of that blue shape, and then we'd connect together at the corner like this. So, in doing that, we are also kind of... Can you kind of see the shape that we've got going along here? Well, the whole point of that is it just kind of gives us a solid area to fill the roof in with as well. Because now on top of that row of orange that you have created, I want you to use your red sandstone slabs. And I want you to place red sandstone slabs directly on top of the orange concrete shape that you have made. And perhaps this will even further give the shape that we have made context. So again, this is just so that we can plan out the shape of the roof but I mean it is also kind of like a cool structural feature as well like you're you're going to be able to uh, see the very clear shape of the roof um, because we have placed the orange um, the red sandstone slabs and when we do start paneling in the roof also uh, when we grab these spruce wood stairs and stuff then uh, it's going to be well you'll see you'll see once it's all done but anyway um, now you might even be able to see the shape a little bit better and, uh, and how it interacts with all of the uh, all of the um, all of the other orange concrete that we have around us and once you have done that we are going to grab the I'm just gonna dump that white for a second I'm gonna grab this black and I'm going to place black concrete in the top of this so basically just half a row below all of the red sandstone slabs I'm going to place rows of black concrete that just completely fill in the roof so this is going to give us uh, a nice solid structure because there's actually stuff on the roof i mean if you guys have ever played fortnite and i imagine some that you guys have um if you've ever played fortnite then you'll know that on the roof you've got like aircon and vents and you obviously have der burger the actual burger from der burger as well so you know that's why we we have to have a nice solid roof here and uh, we'll be able to add some small details to it but anyway continue filling in the roof with black and then once that is done we can move on Okay, so, so far we should have something which should look exactly like this. Now, once you have filled that in, it's time for us to get out the spruce wood stairs, which of course we don't have. So, not only do we uh, need spruce wood stairs, but we're also going to grab some spruce wood planks as well. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I did say that this build, uh, that we would need extra materials as we went along. Spruce wood stairs and spruce wood planks are one of them. If you need time to gather materials, please just pause the video. Okay, so now we have to fill in the area between all of these orange concrete rows. And I'm going to do my best to show you how one would do that exactly. So the way that we're doing it here is we're going to begin by placing a row of spruce wood stairs connecting all of the orange concretes together. And it's best done if you just follow the row of blue concrete that we have on top of the build. Then if you just follow, follow along, place your spruce wood stairs on top, you shouldn't go too wrong. 
There might be a couple of places here and there where you can't do that, although we've not encountered one yet. But if you just place on top of the blue concrete, spruce wood stairs going all the way around, then you should be pretty good. And you'll end up with this sort of effect here. And the one area that I know I'm missing is all the way over on this side of the build. Um, but we actually want to kind of like follow this shape. Like we want to ex- this, this like overhang on the right side of the build, we kind of want to just like place our spruce wood stairs like this. Just so that it fits the shape, like going around the inside of the stone bricks. And then half, uh, or then an entire row above and inside of this, we want to place another row of spruce wood stairs. So this is one row above, and inside we're going to place another row of spruce wood stairs. So this is going to connect all of the orange concretes together. And we will leave the aberrant part of this build a little bit later. The aberrant part being the part that's a little bit different, you know, where we just kind of like, um, just on the corner towards the back end of the building. But we're just going to place all of our spruce wood. And I do apologize, this next part as well is going to require a little bit of destruction, but only a little bit, it's not gonna be a lot. It is a, it, nah, you, uh, I have a feeling you guys aren't going to like the fact that we're going to be destroying a little bit, but you know, I, uh, it is what it is, it just makes it, uh, makes it easier to build. So, we're going to connect all of these stairs together, and then on this side as well, we want to have a similar sort of deal, right? We're going to place the stairs, we're going to have to destroy this orange concrete a little bit here, coming upwards like this. And I'm also going to have to grab the white concrete a little bit, um, just to fill in this gap that we now have on this side of the build as well. So, um, we want to have this filled in with white concrete, like that. And this does also change the shape upon the roof a little bit as well, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a little second. So now, we basically want to grab the spruce wood planks and we want to knock out the orange concrete that sits underneath the red sandstone slabs and we want to place spruce wood planks where the orange concrete is in between all of the pre-existing orange concrete. So it looks as though that the roof, the wood of the roof goes straight upwards. But I did want to build the top of the roof first because I thought that it might be easier to do this afterwards. If I would have done this first, then it wouldn't have required any deleting. And I have deleted a block. Speaking of deleting, I've deleted a block up here. But it's we haven't got to delete loads and loads and loads of orange concrete. So I'm hoping that you guys don't mind so much. And do you guys find, if you play on Bedrock Edition, whenever you try and destroy blocks sometimes, do you accidentally, like, double destroy a block? Because that happens a lot to me, which is something that I'm absolutely not used to. But as you go all the way around, now you can see between all of the orange concrete, you can see that we now have spruce wood planks, which is preferable. And then just for this little bit here, I mean, you could even leave this as is, and you can place, um, like... Uh, like an orange concrete here and then like use red sunstone slabs and that actually probably looks a little bit better than um, building it all the way up to the top or alternatively you can indeed knock this out and then you can place uh, the spruce wood planks in its place it's completely up to you how you want to tackle that part of the build now once you have gotten that taken care of, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a lot of the outside left to do, but I want to completely take care of the roof for the next part of this. So I'm gonna get rid of my materials and I'm gonna grab some different stuff. For this particular part of the roof that we'll be doing, we will require white concrete, light gray concrete, cobblestone wall, stone bricks, and some stone brick stairs. So, I want you to come all the way over to the left side of the build, and I want you to locate where we have this row of orange concrete here pointing upwards. Well, on the roof coming in, I want you to leave a gap of one and place a light grey concrete on the roof. I then want you to come towards the right side of the roof, and where we have this indentation in the roof here where the corner is, I want you to Go right of this, leave a gap of two, so one, two, and then I want you to place a stone brick, then a stone brick stairs, extend that right with the stone bricks, stone brick stairs, 
and then down like this. I then want you to come to this side of the build and I want you to take this corner block here, leave a gap of one coming up, place a light grey concrete and then two cobblestone wall coming upwards like one, two. Let's make that three and then go left by one like this and then take the very back right corner and then going left leave a gap of you want to leave one block, two block, three blocks and place one two, three white concrete in that position, just like this. And that is what you want to have for the roof so far. Now, the next part of this uh, is that we are actually going to make the Der Burger sign. So that means we need a whole host of other materials. Actually requires a crazy amount of materials, so I'll grab them. So these are the materials that we need to make the actual burger and the sign for the moment. Please make sure that you have gathered these and then we can get cracking. So the burger sign's quite easy. On the very left side of the build, on top of the left orange concrete, we want to place a dark oak fence. And on the right one, we want to place two dark oak fence. So like one, two. Go left of the second dark oak fence by three using red concrete. One, two, three. Then place a blue concrete, followed by a black concrete. Now on top of this, going from left to right, I want you to place a black, light blue, white, yellow, white, two red. One, two. And then on top of this, going from left to right, place a black, light blue, yellow, white, yellow, white, red, like this. And then on top of, the, from, basically, from the yellow terracotta, um, <laughs> from the light blue concrete to the white concrete, I want you to place a row of yellow terracotta. And extend that row one row towards you, and one row behind. Take the middle three blocks on the back and extend them backwards, and the middle three blocks on the front and extend them forwards. Place brown terracotta on top of all of these. Just like this. I want you to use your red concrete and place a red concrete in the center and then all of the way around the center. And then I want you to place a row of yellow terracotta and extend it outwards on each side by one row. So basically don't connect it together at the corners but do extend it out on all of the sides by one row just like this. I want you to take the middle front that overhangs and place a yellow terracotta. Place a yellow terracotta behind it, left, right, and then add two more rows. One row, two rows. And then I want you to place a white concrete in this position and this position, like that. That's about as far as we can go with the materials that we have, so once again I'll dump some and then I'll show you what we need. Okay, so these are the materials that we need to make the rest of the burger. Make sure that you have them and then we can continue. So, we're going to give the burger eyes. These are dark oak buttons in front of the white concretes. We are going to give the burger the little stick thing that kind of like holds a burger together. This is an oak wood fence at the top center of the burger, lime concrete, oak fence. We place item frames in front of the gre the lime concrete with a red concrete in top. That's supposed to look like, I believe it's an olive. And then we're going to place yellow carpet on top of all of the brown carpet, which the, uh, uh, on top of the brown, um, brown terracotta actually, not, uh, not brown carpet, which is supposed to be cheese on top of the burger, that's tomato slash uh, ketchup then you guys get the idea. And then to finish this off, the burger sticking out its tongue, which doesn't make any sense, but uh, we're placing pink concrete in front of the burger part of the burger on the front, and then sticking the center block downwards. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the burger 
from Der Burger. <laughs> so once you have got that taken care of, ladies and gentlemen, we are cracking on with this build very nicely. And there isn't a huge amount left to do, so let's talk about what's going to happen next. Okay, so these are the sorts of items that we are going to be using from this point onwards. Let's do this. Do make sure that you have every single one of these. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take the front of the restaurant and where we have the sticky out corner here, I want to dig in the ground and I want to mark out from this point here all the way over to the left corner of the restaurant. So like I want to connect that point to that point and then I actually want to go two rows beyond this so like one two and the point of this is I am marking out where the walkways around the restaurant are so these two rows are actually going to come all the way backwards they're going to connect to this pillar here and then they're going to dig this direction so all of this eventually not right now but we we will do this later is going to be filled in with stone slabs because I want to give you guys some context on you know what what's going to be going where what's going to be added where um, so all of this is actually most of it pretty much is all going to be walkway like that so you can kind of uh, kind of grasp what all of that is you know that's all going to be filled in with stone slabs there is a similar deal over here. So if we actually, if we start from the right side of this window here, and we dig all the way to the right, and we line up with the right side of the building, I'm just gonna preemptively dig this out, and I'm going to place some stone slabs in here. Well, on this side of the build as well, it might be helpful if we add, uh, add what's here. So if you take this corner of the building, I want you to place five light grey concrete in front of this corner coming outwards. One, two, three, four, five. Place another row on top. I want you to bring that fifth row inwards with two rows of iron bars. One, two, one, two. I then want you to leave a gap of two going right, leave a gap of two, and then place a row of seven iron bars going right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then place a grey concrete, a light grey concrete, and connect it to the wall. I want you to make the light grey concrete about three rows higher, like one, two, and that would be three. And then we're going to add another row of iron bars on top of this row. And then we'll make the last three connecting to the wall, we'll, we'll make that a little bit higher, kind of like this. I'm going to then use these stone slabs, and all of this is going to be filled in using stone slabs, by the way. This, this whole little area that we've just created, all of this is going to be stone slabs. So I'm just going to kind of mark it out to be filled in. So all, all the way around inside of the iron bars and where we have the doorway, all that stone slabs. This little corner bit here, I'm going to dig this out, and this is also going to be stone slabs as well on the corner. We have to make room, you see, because this is a drive-through and people would actually drive around this part. I'm going to place a yellow concrete on the corner because that acts as a bollard, I, uh, I do believe is, uh, is the name of that. So now, once you've done that, what we now want to do is on the left hand side here, going left of this wall, we actually want to dig a, out a row of five, like one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to dig forwards, and we're going to dig this way, and we're actually going to stop. Let me show you. We're actually going to dig from like from to this window here. So, you know, you're going to have to use, uh, use a little bit of ice for uh, some of this, but we're going to dig from there to there, and all of that will be dug out and also replaced with slab as well, some stone slab. And uh, in, this, in this particular area as well, we have got a little bit of detail. So there's a bush in this corner between the window and uh, like the garbage area. So you can just place a little bush, something like that, you know? Maybe even have it stick out a little bit more. 
We also have a sign as well. I think maybe it's like a menu or something, and maybe you can place it about here in front of the bush, and basically you place three, light, uh, three dark blue uh, concrete, like one, two, three. Extend out the last two blocks on the right, last two blocks to the left. Place a row of stone slabs on top of this. And then we're going to place signs in the bottom left corner, bottom right corner, top right, top left, just like that. And then we have some road markings coming along the front of the build. And you can either use white concrete for this, or I'm going to use um, quartz slabs, but you know, quartz block would actually be even easier. So there's like, I think it's like a disabled spot perhaps, or it's, you know, it, it's like something like that in front of this window. And uh, the way that we do this is quite simple. You just want to dig out the area between this window and the two pillars, and you want to dig out as far as the stone slabs. We're going to add a strip of quartz slab on the left and quartz slab on the right. And then we kind of want to make like a, a kind of like a checkerboard pattern, meaning like I want to bring the ends in by one row. And then coming inwards, I want to connect it together in the middle. And then I want to join it outwards again and then inwards again. So we kind of want to create this sort of shape. And later on, this will be filled in with cyan terracotta. And then lining up with this window here, leaving a gap of three, we also want to create an additional parking space. And I'm going to place a row of quartz slab to symbolize this. So you leave a gap of three and then place a row of four quartz slab. And we're going to do this a few more times. We're going to do this one more time. And then two more times. And then three more times. Like this. And I'm just going to place quartz slab in all of these positions. Just like this. There we are. Oh, also, on this side of the build too, there's um, there's what's called a zebra crossing. Like, I don't know whether, uh, like, you guys in America or wherever you're, you're from, I don't know whether you guys call it that, but it's a zebra crossing. It basically means if there's pedestrians, meaning people waiting on the road, then cars have got to stop and let them pass. And uh, it's very easy to make. If you start with the corner of the stone slab here, leave a gap of one, knock out a block, leave a gap of one, knock out a block, and then we want to knock out blocks, we want to knock three upwards. So like one, two, three, one, two, three. So like the number 11 basically. And we just want to fill that in using quartz slabs like this. Or quartz blocks, doesn't matter which. Now once you've done that, there is a little bit more detail that I do want to add to the front. It's actually the last bit of detail. And uh, we don't have the materials to make it, but they are fairly simple, right? So we need a quartz stairs. We also need, um, we need end rods as well, which uh, I cannot find at the moment. Oh, we need end rods, um, quartz slabs as well, which we have, and we need red beds too so that's kind of important so i'm gonna grab red beds okay so in between the center window on the front i'm going to place an end rod like right in the middle of the path in between the center window i'm going to place quartz slabs all the way around the top of the end rod like this and then red beds around on top of this just like that that quartz slabs in the middle coming up gonna knock out the quartz slabs underneath the beds like this there we go then i'm gonna place two chairs either side quartz stairs either side like that and that is just a nice little eating area that is actually on the proper um der burger itself Later on, I might add a car to this area too, um, because it's not too difficult to do. Okay, oh, and one last little bit of detail. Where we place the zebra crossing, there is an orange concrete right on the corner here, and there's actually one on the opposite side, although I don't build that far, but uh, there is also one on the opposite side. And uh, that's what we have so far, you know, we've <laughs> we're really doing well here, we have done a huge amount of Zerberger. 
Okay, so now I want you to come to the opposite side of the build. And we don't need too many materials for this next part, although we do need a new one which is going to be the cyan terracotta because that's the road material. So I want you to knock out on the left side of the build, I want you to mark out one, two, three, four spaces. And this row of four is going to go from the very front corner of the build to the very back corner of the build on the left side. So I just, I'm just going to kind of mark it out. This is enough room to get a car around basically. Something like this will look just fine. And then, the point of doing this was then on this side of the build, using a mixture of jungle leaves and stone slabs, I want to, on the side of the road, place jungle leaves where we have all of the blue concrete for the windows. So like marking it out, we'd have jungle leaves here, 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 and then if the windows were to continue, they'd also be here, 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 and also I'm going to do it here as well, so you can kind of see where they are, and then I'm going to add another row of jungle leaves just behind them, like this, just to kind of mark it out, like this, just like that. So we want to have a combination of jungle leaves all the way around there. And then this entire area, because the, not all of this is road, like on the side of the road leading all the way to the boundary of Durburger, all of this is going to be stone slabs. Meaning it's going to come from all that one side, all the way to this side, and everywhere in between, even including all of the jungle leaves, all of this will be stone slabs. So uh, I'm kind of just go I'm I'm just going to mark it out as I have done with a lot of the other stuff too. I am just marking out where all of uh, where I am going to be filling in. I'm not necessarily going to actually fill all of this in though in this tutorial specifically. I I will show you the end result of such, but I'm not going to uh, we're not going to spend precious precious video time um, doing this. Uh, doing this, but uh, I do want to show you exactly like where it is. So here, and then here, and obviously all between the jungle leaves as well. This is a massive build, ladies and gentlemen. Massive. Um, just all between here, here. So, we will end up with something that should so far look like this. And then all I'm going to do from here is I am going to dig out, right, all of the light, basically, I'm going to dig out all of the areas that I've marked out with stone slabs that you can see around the build. I'm going to dig them out, replace those with stone slabs, and I'm going to take all of the area inside of the lime green, and I'm going to dig that out and replace it with cyan terracotta. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like right now. This is going to take a long time, by the way. So this is what the area should look like once it has been 100% fully filled in. All of these stone slabs, all of these stone slab areas have been filled in with stone slabs, and all of the cyan terracotta areas have been filled in with cyan terracotta. So please pause the video if you have to. Do make sure that you have done that for yourself. And once you have done that, we have only two things left to do. The first of which requires oak doors. I'm going to place an oak door on every single entrance around Durburger. So there's three of them. The two main entrances you might have thought of, but there is also that side entrance on the far side of the restaurant all the way over here. So you might not have thought about that one, but all of those require oak doors being placed. So the last thing that we will be doing here is making a car. To make a car, we require all of the materials that you can see in my inventory and hotbar right now. Please pause the video if necessary. Make sure that you have all of these materials right here. Once you have them all, we may begin. So 
The car's very easy to make, and I'm actually going to be making it in this parking space right here, although, you know, you can make it anywhere. Uh, and I'm going to have it sticking out the space a little bit, just, you know, as if it's leaving or what have you. So I'm going to start by placing a black concrete. In front of the black concrete, a quartz slab. I'm going to go right by two, one, two, and then I'm going to place a black concrete back on myself. I'm then going to fill in this little gap here using quartz slabs, and then add two more rows of quartz slabs, like one, two. Then I'm going to place a black concrete here on the left, a black concrete here on the right. Fill in that gap with quartz slabs. Going to add another row of quartz slabs on the back. Then I'm going to add an entire row of pink wool on top of the car. Now, once you've placed all of that pink wool, I want you to specifically place a pink wool in this position, this position, this position, this position, like that. Place a glass pane here, 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 and then coming across the front here. Place a string in the center and then pink carpet all the way on top of the glass and eventually on top of the string and the remaining um, pink wool as well. So like this. I then want you to place item frames on the front two corners of the car, redstone lamps inside of them, and then item frames on the back of the car, red concrete inside of them, then we're going to dump the materials, going to grab the remaining ones, a ladder on the front centre of the car, a sign underneath the ladder, buttons on the sides of the black concrete, specifically the stone ones, and then dark oak wood buttons for the door handles, like that. And that is a fairly simple and repeatable car. If you ever want to make a car like it, do the exact same thing, use different colours of wool. Very, very simple design, easy to make, and looks great. Kind of reminds me of the Simpsons car, actually, very, very much. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is Der Burger Complete. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button as it really does help me and the channel out very, very, very much. And if you have liked the build enough to make it this far in the video, please share it with a friend. Sharing is caring. And of course, if you do want to subscribe to the channel, keep up to date with what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to check out past builds, then please check out the card system and the description below for all of my other Fortnite-related builds and for all of my other houses and mun houses and cartoon builds and yeah, so much stuff that's in the card system and the description below. I'd highly recommend, if you like Der Burger, the Tomato Town Pizzeria is also one of my faves as well. I think both of these look really, really cool together. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!